Hi guys, welcome. I'm Steve Johnson and today I want to talk about some of the things that we get most questions about when it comes to dry lock housing assembly. First, let's talk about the Zoom Gear Retainer. The Zoom Gear Retainer does what its name suggests. It holds your Zoom Gear or Focus Gear in place. When you first get your housing, the Zoom Gear Retainer is holding the porthole cover in place. To remove the porthole cover, you'll want to have the Zoom Gear Removal Tool, which also comes with the housing. Just insert the tool and rotate it counterclockwise until the retainer comes loose from the housing. The most important thing to remember is that you want to have the Zoom Gear Retainer in place whenever you're using a zoom or focus gear. Without it, the gear will slip and will fail to engage properly. I leave the zoom gear retainer installed on the housing even when I'm not using a zoom or focus so that it doesn't get lost. The next thing I want to talk about is port alignment. If you don't attach your port in the correct orientation, it will not be secured to the base properly and the housing will leak. There are three recesses in the port mount base. These recesses line up with the thumb screws on your lens port. The top recess is indexed with a divot on the front of the port mount. You need to align one of the port's thumb screw with the recess on top of the housing. Once you have the port aligned, push it all the way on until it stops. It should be even against the housing port mount and uniform all the way around. Tighten down the thumb screw with your fingers. Then they should uh, rotate easily the way until the head of the thumb screw is flush with the port mount. If you're struggling, you may not have the port seated properly. You only want to use a hex key if your fingers don't reach the thumb screws. Avoid the urge to snug the thumb screws tight. Over tightening the screw can damage the mount or cause it to break the piston seal and leak. If you're using a dome port, the shade has a larger and smaller projections. You want the larger projections on top and bottom. Misaligning the dome shade can cause vignetting with certain wide angle lenses. The next thing I want to talk about is lubricant. The seal on the back of the housing is virtually fail safe as long as you have the three lid snaps closed and locked. You don't lubricate the o-ring on the back of the housing. Lubricant can attract dirt, sand, and lint to your o-ring. Now you do want to lubricate the O-ring on the front of your housing and any port extensions. These are piston seals which require a very light coating of lubricant to slide it easily without twisting or rolling. I wouldn't recommend taking the O-rings off the port mount or extensions to lubricate them. Just put the small amount uh, between lubricant between your, your thumb and forefinger and run it around the exposed surface of the O-ring. Do this whenever you need to remove the port and reinstall it. At the end of a dive trip, you can remove the O-ring completely and clean the groove underneath with a lint-free cloth. The last thing I want to mention is housing controls. Pay attention to your housing control orientation when you're assembling your housing. Be mindful of any controls that need to be pulled out of the way or rotated in a specific direction to install or operate the camera. Once you have everything put together, I highly recommend using a vacuum pump to check for leaks prior to entering the water. Of course, we have a video that shows you how to do that. That's it. Keep in mind that you should never be getting water or humidity into your housing as you dive. Water droplets and fogging are signs of a leak and should not be ignored. Do not continue to put a camera inside your housing unless your last dive with the housing was 100% dry. And if you have any questions about housing assembly or anything related to underwater photography, reach out to us via iClight at iClight.com. Also sign up for our weekly news for tips and equipment advice direct in your inbox once a week. Happy shooting.